Hey, what's up guys? In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a badass 3D text intro using the newest features in Adobe After Effects CS6, Track Camera, and Ray Trace 3D for extruding text. Right now, I'm going to talk about how to use Track Camera and make 3D text, all done in After Effects CS6. In the next part, I'll show you how to add slow motion using Twixtor, but this requires the Twixtor plugin. I'll show you how to add a natural camera shake or a wiggle, all done in After Effects CS6 with no additional plugins. First, open up Adobe After Effects CS6 and let's make a new composition, 920 by 1080 at 30 frames per second. And I choose 30 because I recorded my footage at 30 frames per second. All right, let's rename comp one to camera tracking. Let's import our footage. This footage is in an image sequence. So I click on the first image in the sequence. Here I want to click interpret footage main and I want to make sure that this says 30 frames per second. All right, because that's how I render this image sequence. All right, let's zoom in. This is how the image sequence looks. Let's go to animation and click track camera. This is going to begin the 3D camera tracker. So now the 3D camera tracker is automatically analyzing the footage. Here I pull down the advanced menu and click detailed analysis. Detailed analysis takes longer, but it seems to be more accurate. And for this example, I'm going to use detailed analysis. The camera tracker is done. The 3D camera tracker is selected. And as I scroll through the footage, you can see all the tracked points. Very cool. All right. For this example, I want to pick one of the tracked points and track some text to it. So let's find a point in the footage. I'll select this point here, right click on it and select create text and camera. This is going to create a new text layer and new camera. You can select the text layer and adjust the text properties. I want to make the text a little larger. As I scroll through the footage, you can see the text is tracked nicely. All right, since the text is a 3D layer, uh, we can move it around in the XYZ plane. Make sure that your render is ray traced 3D. There's two ways you can do this. You can go to Composition Settings and select the Advanced tab and select Ray Trace 3D. Or you can select Ray Trace 3D in the upper right hand corner. When you click the Options button, you can select the Ray Trace quality. In this example, I'm going to select 2. This is going to give me a balanced quality versus render time. You'll see that the Ray Trace 3D renderer takes much longer to render. So for the purpose of this example, I'm going to keep this low. All right, looking at your different views, you can select Custom View 1. Let's look at this text layer in 3D. Select the text pull down menu. Go to Geometry Options. Modify the extrusion depth. So this allows us to extrude the text. You can modify these settings to get the effect you're looking for. Next, let's take a look at the material options. I want to make this text reflective. I'm going to change the reflection intensity to 100%. All right, the text becomes black. To achieve that reflective effect, we're going to have to create an environment layer. And the way you do that is Select your footage, duplicate the footage, right click on the new layer and select environmental layer. This is going to turn this footage layer into the environmental layer and this is going to feed into the reflection. Okay, here I offset the environment layer by half a second just for effects. Let's add a new light source. Go to layer, select new light. And in this example, I use a spotlight. You can adjust these settings to create the effect you want. In custom view one, I'm going to drag this light so the light is pointing towards the text layer. And if you press R on your keyboard, you can rotate the orientation to suit your needs. All right, switching back to the active camera, you can see the light makes a big difference. We can fine tune some of the text variables. You can play with these settings to get the lighting that you're looking for. All right, that looks fine for this example. Now I'm going to duplicate the text layer and I'm going to move it down and change the text. Not too bad, right? This is a cool effect. So let's go ahead and render this out under render settings. Those are good. Output module. I like to select H264 and I'm going to select 120 Mbps. This will give us a high quality MP4. Name the file, save it and begin the render. Okay. When that's done rendering, 
Let's import the file we just created. Drag this file to a new composition. All right, here's what the preview looks like. You can see the tracking went well. In the next part of this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to use time remapping and a screen wiggle to make the effect look even cooler. So I'm gonna make a new composition. I'm gonna name this camera tracking with slow-mo. First, I'm gonna right click on the file, select time and enable time remapping. In the effects and presets, I select Twixtor Pro. The input frame rate is gonna be 30. And I'm gonna start off really fast at 300% speed. Then right before I get to the text, I'm gonna slow it down to 20% speed. And here I select the image prep. I'm gonna select contrast, edge, enhance. For warping, I'm gonna select forward. And for main BG sensitivity, I'll select 90. Let's add some motion blur to this. This is gonna create a blurring effect. So here I end up selecting motion blur 1.5. And uh, you can see how it looks. Very cool. Let's take this composition and let's drag it into a new composition. Let's do the 3D camera tracking to this layer. Go to animation and track camera. And now the 3D camera tracker is gonna analyze this footage. And again, I select the detailed analysis. All right, when this is done, you can see the track points. And it looks like it does pretty well, even with the motion blur. So let's go with that. Now find the point where you want the text to appear right when the slow motion begins. All right, the dual flag comes down and select the track point where you want the text to appear. All right, and basically what you're gonna do is repeat the steps that I just went over in the previous part of the tutorial and uh, add your text, extrude the text, create an environmental layer if you want that reflective effect. The final part in this tutorial is how to add some wiggle to your footage. If you wanna give the footage a little bit of camera shake. So in effects and presets, search for wiggle. I'm gonna apply two wiggle effects here. One is wiggle position and wiggle rotation. Um, you can also use wiggle rama, but it gets kind of crazy. So let's keep it simple. For wiggle position, I set the wiggle speed to one and the wiggle amount to 30. And for wiggle rotation, I set the wiggle speed to one and the wiggle amount to five degrees. We're gonna be somewhat modest here so it doesn't get too crazy. In order for your footage not to wiggle out of frame, you're going to have to increase the scale a little bit. So on your keyboard, press S, and that's the keyboard shortcut for scale, and I increase the scale to 108% here. As you can see when I preview this footage, it has a natural camera shake to it. All right, let's render this out. Add to render queue using best settings, H.264 at 120 Mbps for high quality MP4. Rename the file and save it. And click render. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you like this video and you like my channel, please subscribe, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Good luck and have fun.